For most of America's history, a system of racial segregation dictated every aspect of life. In no area was this more true than in healthcare. You think about the civil rights movement, you think about uh, housing, public accommodation, education. But I think the story hasn't been told often about what happened in terms of the institutions of medicine. So that's an unrevealed part of the history. In 1965, as the civil rights struggle escalated, black Americans were in the streets fighting for justice and equality. They were being attacked and killed. But a different kind of violence was taking thousands of black lives every year. Segregated medical care was a brutal reality for black Americans. Negroes had one ward. If you were dying from cancer, if you were there to have a baby or whatever, you're on the same ward. Everything was segregated. Not just the hospitals, but physicians' practices. I was the only black pediatrician in the entire state. People were dying as a result of that segregated system. The 1964 Civil Rights Act tied federal funds to desegregation. Now Medicare, with its promise of federal funds, created an opportunity to end the shocking inequalities in medical care. This is the remarkable story of how civil rights activists and the federal government, working together, desegregated thousands of hospitals practically overnight, bringing life-saving care to millions of Americans. This little-known story reveals the role of countless people who never took center stage, but whose shoulders we stand on.